Okay, this is Gamer Blade, and we're back with Tank in Fallout Tactics. And um, you know, if you watched the last couple of videos, you've noticed that uh, we've uh, we've been dying on a fairly fairly regular basis. So um, you know, hopefully, we're gonna break that trend. You know, we've been uh, we had been dying due to explosives, but uh, you know, we had uh, we've taken a couple of critical hits that have bypassed the old armor completely, which, uh, you know, doesn't matter what our damage resistance gets up to, um, you know, <laughs> effectively makes it zero. So, um, oh, I had already talked to General Decker accidentally, but anyway, um, he said uh, we're going on to the next bunker, so... Anyway, um, the only thing that I really did of note, uh, you know, I'd usually, you know, take care of business in between these videos. If you've been watching this whole series, take care of business in between the, um, in between the videos. Uh, with Alice, I actually picked up, and I, I usually stay away from the gain um, gain one ability, uh, perks, but there wasn't a whole lot that I actually really wanted with her, except to make her more accurate with, uh, big guns, and what I really need her to do is, uh, I mean, her perception is what's really, what was really holding her back at only six, so I went ahead and gained perception with her. But apart from that, I'm just gonna pile into the old APC here and head on to the um, head on to the uh, next, next bunker. The super mutants were a powerful adversary with great strength and courage. Without the leadership of Gamoran, though, they will never pose the same threat to the Brotherhood. It was the corruption of Gamoran that provided the most sobering lesson. Even the purest of hearts can falter. The elders and generals must push their sorrow aside, however, for they have more pressing matters to attend to. The data recovered from Gamoran's base indicates that the mutant force's route intersected with the calculated location of Vault Zero. It is possible that the mutant horde discovered the location of Vault Zero during their exodus from the west. Is there a connection between the mutants discovering Vault Zero and the emergence of the mechanical menace? Only time will tell. The future holds one thing for certain. More encounters with the robots are inevitable, and the Brotherhood has a new and deadly enemy. All right. On to Bunker Delta. Yep, more of this. I can't even imagine uh, this game if you actually <laughs> if you actually did all of these encounters. It'd be unbelievable. In fact, I mean, I've been ignoring pretty much every encounter in the game, and I've probably spent an hour just clicking no. Or more, at this point. It is probably the biggest irritation in the game. Um, you know, I remember in the, the previous fallouts, the encounters were not this ridiculous. I mean, you, you could actually walk, you know, a, a bit. You, you'd usually, I, I remember being able to go, like, several squares before you'd hit an encounter. And this is just ridiculous. Like, you know, that was more... That last stretch right there was a little bit more... ...reasonable. <coughs> Alright, so let's explore this base really quick. Oh. Let's see if this mechanic has anything for me. Typically speaking, they have more or less the same... 
more or less the same stuff they had in the previous bunker, but wait a second. This base seems to be not uh, completely one building like the uh, like the previous ones were. It's kind of neat. You also notice that I finally uh, switched Stein over to a uh, minigun. Well, they certainly got a lot of medical supplies here. They got two, um, two different ones that I can talk to, two different medical officers. Um, now, I can't exactly remember. I know in, in um, like, for instance, Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, I think you actually have to do, like, a quest in order to, in order to brother, get power armor. I'm his son, quartermaster for uh, and I can't remember if you have to do that in, um... Yeah, if you need some great gear, you come to me. We got a motto in this bunker. Inventory is not boring. Inventory is life. Now, how can I um, help you? Yeah, okay, I already looked at these people. I can't remember if you have to do like something on the side in uh, in this one in order to get access to power armor or not. But it doesn't look like it. So I'll go ahead and get my mission and we'll get on our way here. Greetings, warrior. Your next mission will bring you to Junction City, a mid-sized town that has refused to form an alliance with the Brotherhood. Their independent posture has been recently reinforced by their victory over one of the robots late last night. Our elders are quite curious how such a battle could be won considering the lack of heavy weaponry involved. This is a riddle whose answer might be paramount for a victory. See what you can find out. More important than this riddle is the retrieval of the robotic parts from the scene of the battle. We must understand how our enemy works in order to neutralize it, and any robotic remnants might hold the key. Understand that the Reaver movement has been launching probing attacks against Junction City. Our elders believe that they are also searching for robotic pieces. Considering the Reavers zealously worship technology, their involvement comes as no surprise. Try forging a deal with the town's mayor. Robot parts in exchange for protection from the Reaver. We have one last task for you as well. Our senior mechanic Cooter died recently when he triggered an explosive boot an unfortunate on a name. retrieved interceptor vehicle. His apprentice lacks the cognitive ability to fully assume the role. And at times like this, we can't have any malfunctioning vehicles involved during a high-risk mission. Intelligence reports that Junction City's mechanic is top-notch and might be persuaded to join the Brotherhood's cause. Find this mechanic and inform her of the wondrous opportunities the Brotherhood can offer. You have your orders. Dismissed. Well... Not sure that, um, I don't think I have anyone in my group that has, um, very high charisma. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna try to remember to edit that sneeze out. <laughs> Apologies if I don't. Okay. So, where is everybody? Where's Ed? Oh, Ed's there. That's fine. Alice. Okay, so if we're actually going to be fighting in a city, I'm going to put my, uh, put them on, uh, defensive instead of aggressive. And, um, one of the things that excites me about being able to fight the, uh, robots now is, um, oh, it sucks. 
my other vehicles are back at the other base. I guess there wasn't a lot of stuff in there that I'd moved most of, most everything over to uh, this vehicle that I needed. Um, but anyway, um, you know, now that we're gonna be fighting robots, um, they should have energy weapons and thus, um, you know, small energy cells. So I should be able to start uh, pretty much using my um, power fist um, very regularly, very regularly. No, 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 no. Come on. Let me in here. Let me in here. Come on. No. Oh, shoot. The navigation in this game is ridiculously irritating. Well, I can't talk to them, so I'm assuming they're going to let us in. Chuck here. Do you want some robot? Yes, I do want some robot. I'm gonna send Stitch over to open up negotiations. Oh there, stranger. I bet you're looking for some of that devilish contraption. Well, just your luck, you found me. I was able to retrieve the part that flew out of its chest when it blew up. I need some cash to buy some medicine for my sick mother. You want to work something out? Yeah, that doesn't look like a robot part to me. How much does he want for it? Um. It's got a plasma grenade, too. This guy's pretty well equipped for some random dude. Um. Hang on a second. Does anyone else have, um, RPs? Shoot. I didn't really bring any, um, items to trade here. I guess I can give them some grenades. I haven't really been I haven't really been uh, using them. Let's, um, I don't know, like 10 grenades. 10 grenades ought to do it. 10 grenades is not going to do it, evidently. Shoot. How much is a dose of this going to be worth? That's 1900, gee whiz. Poison. Uh. Whatever. Close enough. Whoops. I meant to grab this. Something like that, that's good enough. Okay, so we've got... Yep. That's kind of what it looked like. And now he won't, he won't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, it happens. was already broke. Um, angry Rick. Okay, hang on a second. I want to change pretty much everyone over to um, passive. I don't want anyone don't want anyone firing their gun off. Um, 
in the city here. You know, because uh, it could make you want me to everyone. Bar star attraction? Hey, listen, you asshole! This bar is how I pay my fucking bills, and that robot piece has brought more customers to my bar than my famous fermented Brahmin milk martini. Why don't you go shove a glass bottle up your ass and I'll kick it till it breaks? Get the fuck out of my face! Um. Daggummit. Well, now, how about that? It's talking. It looks like trading up to me. Oh, wait, no, that's gambling. That's gambling. Hang on a second. Who's got my best gamble skill? I don't think anyone's got very much gamble here, but let's, uh, it's at least worth a shot. Looks like Stitch has my best gamble at 33%. Um, this guy's not willing to barter. So. Hey! I don't know who you use. Okay. No! I lost my vibrating robot, um, inappropriate thing. Okay, uh, do we have anything else that is, uh, kind of expendable in terms of devices? Let's, um, let's try, like, uh, 10 grenades or, or 15 grenades or something. I mean, I'm not using them. That's pretty expendable. Try to keep gambling. Well, he got a uh, he got a uh, vibrating um, thing out of it, you know. So that uh, so he got he got something out of it. So that's good, I guess. <coughs> Science book, sweet. Man, I really hope we don't have to fight in the middle of um, this area, because uh, most of my <laughs> most of my weapons, apart from tank, uh, are not exactly precise instruments. Um, splash damage, so to speak, um, would be something that happened. Okay, town hall. Okay, so I need to find. I need to find this, uh, mechanic. Maybe he's up in this little... area here. So let's cut to the chase. My city isn't independent. 
We take care of ourselves and we won't march to the Brotherhood beat. But we can't hold off those Reavers for much longer. Those tech freaks pack some advanced firepower, so I'll make you a deal. You kill all those religious tech bastards and I'll give you the robot head. It's more trouble than it's worth anyway. Now you'll have to look for the other pieces yourself. I have a city to run. Um... Where are the quote unquote um, tech bastards? Unquote. Hi, sir. I'm the mayor's assistant, Anna. How about I help you so you can get what you're after and things can go back to normal around here? Besides the mayor, I saw three people that were able to get a piece of that machine okay. Angry Rick the bartender. Hank, the cheating family man, and Juan, the shopkeeper. Someone said Casey Barrett has one too, but if you ask me, all she has is a bad case of the clap. Does that help? Um. Yes. Papers, definitely taking those. Note, okay, putting those back. Okay, <clears throat> so basically, I just need to run around. This is just a uh, find the stuff mission. At least for right now. Um, what I might do, honestly, is um, ooh, more buff out. Nice. I might uh, run this one at uh, you know two x speed, like I do some of the uh, parts of um, some missions speed them up, but since I'm just going to be kind of running around looking for stuff, Juan's Emporium. Let's see, so Juan's, Juan allegedly has a piece. Or do you want to hear about what happened? Well, that robot limped into Junction City just looking for trouble. Now, if you ask anyone in town, you'll hear that my skills in fighting are only overshadowed by my ability hmm. to stock my store shelves. I could swear that robot almost turned around and ran when it saw who it was up against. This kind of makes up for all the times I got picked on when I was younger. Anyway, I have a piece of the monster if you want to trade. My buddy Hank's got one too. You should go find him. All right, let's have a look. A robot arm. How much does he want for? Whoa, buddy! Man, I uh, gee whiz. How much does this voodoo sell for? Because I haven't really been using a bunch of it, and I've got a number of these things sitting around. How about two voodoo and an afterburner, buddy? And um, one of these. Okay, that seems like a pretty good deal. That seems like a pretty good deal. Whoa. 32,000 experience points. That does seem like a pretty good deal. Let's, um... I haven't really decided if I'm just going to kind of keep... keep, um... bumping my, uh, skills up there. 
where I'm going to go into sneak. So I'm just going to kind of sit on those points there, but leveling up so I can keep um, get more hit points. It's not, it's not, um, well, his, his hit points aren't going up. I guess they don't go up until you, um, allot the, uh, skills. Maybe, maybe if I allot some of them. Um, if I do that, does it? Huh. That's strange. Enforcer was gutted alive. Where's that happening? Where is that happening? Reaver hit. I need to know where that's going on. So I can... be in the battle. I have absolutely no idea where this uh, battle is going on. Okay, I guess I'm just going to kind of run around and, and uh, hope to find it. Ah, here we go. Now, first things first. Tank. Buff out. Psycho. Let's switch to here. And combat and run out there. Now they're they're using energy weapons. Now, um Whoa! Wow! This looks absolutely, completely bonkers. Um, I have an idea. So if... I mean, he definitely is taking uh, considerable damage from these guys. Um, so what I want to be able to do here is utilize Stein and Alice, maybe right here, possibly put Tank right here, so the Reavers have to come around this corner. So let's see. Let's move uh, Tank here. Okay. Alice. Um. Where's Stein? And let's go ahead use several of these guys. Because I don't think there are any more, um... I don't think there are any more, uh, enforcers outside of the city uh, to worry about. Or at least on that side. So I think they've got to come in. Um, and let's get the rest of my people kind of away from the fray. Come on.
More big guns. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let him come. Okay, let's see if I can lure a couple more of them down here. Whoa! Uh, if I was that guy, I'd be getting out of the way. That, uh, civilian is not being intelligent. That civilian is not being intelligent at all. <laughs> Where's everybody running? Not towards the gunfire, I can tell you that right now, buddy. Okay. Stein, finish these guys off. That's how we do it. That's how we freaking do it. Okay. Man. That minigun chews the ammo up. Fortunately, these guys just dropped some ammo for the minigun. So, he has got some more. And I think some of these guys had energy weapons. Whoa! 40 millimeter grenade. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Boomer, I guess. And I'm hoping that uh, these guys were using... I could have sworn some of these guys were using something with small energy cells in it. No, large energy cells. Plasma rifle. Okay. Stitch, come grab some of this junk so we can... Uh, trade it for the other, um, the other part. Alright, I'm looking at the time of this video, and it looks like that is a good place to cut it. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll pick up here next time.